If you see papel picado at an event or a wedding, you know it's going to be a party. Using a knife is my way of illustrating and cutting through material to tell a story. It's almost as though the patterns and the shapes were holding an ancient wisdom. When I see the work, I am filled with joy and really proud. Papel Picado is a cultural icon. My name is Karina Puente, and I am a visual artist based in Philadelphia, PA. I have a background in drawing and painting and also in writing from a very young age in high school. My work was recognized by local galleries, so I put myself through college by selling my work in my local community. I am a Mexican-American artist, and my work is rooted in the traditional Mexican folk art called Papel Picado. Papel Picado art installations are for cultural centers, museums, galleries, events, and weddings. My work ranges in size from 20 feet tall to 20 feet wide to small flags and banners. I have a team of professional artists who work with me and we start anything that's important with a blessing. So music is a blessing, coming together, taking a moment to acknowledge how we're connected and how we continue to uplift each other is seen in a blessing, is seen in that initial moment of music. We cut material off the roll and I start cutting patterns that articulate the spark of a new idea. Influenced by my family's love of gardening, you'll often see flowers, pollinators, and seeds that float through the air and through water. A client from the West Coast found my work and she's getting married on the East Coast and said one of the things that made her feel a lot better about getting married on the East Coast was having my artwork at her wedding. So this is gonna be a 35 foot by 20 foot ceremony backdrop. I'll use a knife and then we sew the tops. And that's where this love of sewing and honoring a legacy of seamstresses has come into practice. My great-great-grandmother was a seamstress and she would create skirts and blouses that were then embroidered by indigenous Mexican women. So the entire process of the creation of the work is really informed by what would be considered women's work traditionally, especially women of color, ironing, sewing, laundry. And what I aim to do is take those practices and elevate them to an artistic level. When my artwork is viewed as a collection, it almost has an appearance of looking through a kaleidoscope. And that's important to me because it represents a shift in perspective.